Let's talk about making an improvement to the front luggage area. The TBM 9 series aircraft are famous for their TBM 2-step. Even after AVEX in California came up with a modification to flatten out all but a couple of inches of the area and it gave me a nifty little storage area for my stuff, Dyer still likes their TBM 2-step. Well, I don't. My first TBM was a 930 and it already had an AVEX mod and I got spoiled. So recently when I picked up my new 940, I saw what every other 9 series owner got from the factory and had to put up with. I had to make a change and it seemed pretty simple to take out at least one of the steps and add that nifty little storage area. It would flatten out enough that a standard carry-on slid nicely in the front almost as good as AVEX. First a disclaimer. This is not a modification to the aircraft as it is not permanently affixed to the airframe. This is no different than putting a box in the luggage area. If you were to make it more permanent by, say, adding four angle brackets to the inside of the frame and securing it with four screws into the bottom of the luggage compartment, it would not meet FAA approval. This improvement is made of wood. Nope, not fireproof. But then again, neither is anything a pilot stores in the front luggage area. In any event, do this at your own risk. Just saying. So here are the tools you'll need to get this done. Wood glue, a Dremel tool, tape measure and a box blade, long and short rivets, a square and a marker, jigsaw, drill, screwdriver, and a rivet gun. Oh, and a 7 8 hole saw bit. Here's your shopping list. You'll need to spend a little over $60. You'll need a two foot by four foot, quarter inch thick, non-FAA approved plywood, medium and long rivets, a 12 inch piano hinge, a set of four three and a half corner braces, a half inch by 36 inch flat bar, 16th inch thick, a magnetic catch with a strike plate, and 16 inches of Elevations Sky Gray Carpet, a Home Depot special, and it just happens to match what's already there. And for you bad pilots that throw FAA rules to the wind, a set of four one-inch corner braces. If you have a table saw, that will assure that you're cutting your pieces square. Don't know about you, but I needed the help. Now let's get started. Cut the lid 15 inches wide by 16 inches deep. On the front of the lid, cut a finger hole using the 7 8 7 8 hole saw bit. Measure where you think it will be comfortable for you to open. On the front left side, Cut out a piece an inch and a half wide by five and a half inches deep. This is needed so the lid will clear the spare fuse box. Cut two side pieces 16 inches by three and a half inches. Cut two more side pieces 14 and 9 16 inches by three and a half inches. Assemble the base using four three and a half inch corner braces. Secure the braces to the wood using medium rivets. Keep the finished sides of the rivets on the inside of the box. Make sure the finished base is no wider than 15 inches or you will probably not get it into the luggage compartment. Your finished base should be exactly 15 by 16 inches. Attach the lid using the 12 inch piano hinge. Look closely at the picture to get this right. You'll have the hinge on the inside of the lid but on the outside of the box. Use the medium rivets to attach. Make sure you put the finished edge of the rivets on top of the hinge like this. Using the Dremel tool with a round sanding bit, sand out divots where the finished edge of the rivets will strike the base. Sand off just enough so that the lid closes properly. Mark the center front inside of the base and attach the magnetic catch. Mark the center inside front of the lid about 5 16 inch from the edge and attach the strike plate using two medium rivets. Make sure the finished edge of the rivets are against the strike plate. Using your box blade, cut a piece of carpet to fit the lid and cut out that finger hole. Do not glue it yet. Using your box blade again, 
Cut a piece of carpet to fit the front of the base. Do not glue it yet. Now off to the plane. This is a little tricky. Put the box into the luggage area by placing the left side of the box on the floor of the luggage compartment. And then you'll have to slowly and carefully push the right side of the box down until it lays neatly on the compartment floor. It's super tight. So you want to push a little at a time, keeping the box even the entire time. The existing carpet on the sides of the compartment will give you just enough wiggle room and the box should be stout enough to take the pressure. Open the box to make sure it clears the spare fuse compartment. This next part is for the bad pilots watching. If you're not a bad pilot, but one who follows the FAA modifications rules on a certified aircraft to the letter, you'll want to skip this next step. Okay, if you're watching this part and you act on it, you're a bad airplane owner. This step will allow you to secure the box to the floor of the luggage compartment. The bad part of not securing it is that every time you put something too tall in the box, the box raises up when you try to close the lid. So here's the fix. You'll need to secure the box to the compartment floor using four one-inch corner braces. The measurements I'm going to give you may or may not be important. I used the measurements off the AVEX mod in my 930. I figured the two side braces weren't centered out for a reason, so pay attention. First, attach a one-inch corner brace to the center back of the base using a long rivet. Make sure the finished edge of the rivet is against the brace. To attach the corner brace to the floor of the compartment, Find a drill bit that's big enough for the provided corner brace screws. Then slowly drill a hole in the compartment base. For safety reasons, when you penetrate, when you have penetration, stop. I don't know what's in the compartment floor and you probably don't either, so don't take a chance of poking something that's important. Now secure the back corner brace to the compartment floor using one of the provided screws. Repeat this procedure for the inside front of the box base. Here's where the measurements come in. On the left, measure 12 inches from the inside of the rubber door seal. Install another corner brace. On the right, measure eight inches from the inside of the rubber door seal. Install another corner brace. Okay, the bad pilot stuff is complete. Know that what you just did is not FAA approved and those screws better be removed before your next annual or you could be in for an unpleasant surprise. Back to the good pilot stuff. Using the wood glue spread a thin layer on top of the box lid and then lay the cut piece on top. Do the same for the front carpet piece. Now cut the flat bar to exactly 13 inches. Lay it on the front lip of the lid. Mark four drill areas evenly spaced and attached to the front using four of the long rivets. Make sure the finished edge of the rivets are against the flat bar. This step will protect the edge of the carpet from fraying and pulling up. That's it. You should now have a finished storage area that I like to put things like rags, cleaning stuff, spare oil in that silver sealed coffee mug, thanks Brett, and an oil funnel. That box should also be the same height as the first TBM step in the compartment. So you can now easily slide carry-on luggage among other things. No more TBM 2 step. Enjoy!